Susan. And today, we... And welcome back. I am your host, the Susan Anna Mae O'Hagan. And today, we are going to just talk about articles I found. Some might be from Facebook. Some might be from other places. Some could be from anywhere to anything. Okay. Mother-in-law consumes pregnant woman's dinner separately. In a scenario shared on Reddit, a pregnant woman found herself in a disturbing, distressing situation involving a meal she lovingly prepared for her family, including her mother-in-law. Despite her efforts to create a home-made feast of Swedish meatballs, mashed potatoes, broccoli, and homemade bread, the evening took an unexpected turn when her food disappeared before she could take a bite. I made Swedish meatballs in a gravy with mashed potatoes, broccoli, and homemade bread for my mother-in-law's dinner today. Unless it's a big gathering, in which case I serve dinner to everyone. We usually eat in the living room at my house. I take the kids... M-I-L and husband's food to them, and before I can serve my own, I have to run out to go get some clothes. I've been hanging around around for before. The woman claimed that although she served large portions to everyone, believing that everyone would have enough, her mother-in-law was not getting enough. I made a lot more food than I thought everyone could consume, but when I came back from waiting in line, my dinner was gone. When I asked what happened to the food on the bench, my mother-in-law spoke up. She got up and said she wanted more. Okay. He was a bowl full of meat balls much more than she could ever consume. It's overwhelming. Well, I guess maybe she was really hungry, so I'll grab some fast food or something later. It's my fault for not cooking more. Then, when her mother-in-law then, when her mother-in-law said she hadn't eaten anything, she offered her leftovers and asked for a counter to take home container to take home, but after she finished what she wants to eat, leftovers (sighs) but after she finished what she wanted to eat, she asked for a container so she could bring her leftovers home for dinner the next night. I'm getting a little irritated at this point, so I say it was expected to make it my dinner that night rather than her take out the next night. I tell her, no thank you, well you can eat it then and give her the container. I refuse to eat her leftovers. She then discussed it with her husband who or purted her. My husband puts the kids to bed when he leaves. When he comes back, he asks what's going on, and I tell him I'm hungry. I'm upset because I made the food, and I didn't get to eat enjoy any of it. He tells my mother-in-law that her behavior was stingy and self-centered, and admits that she was way off the mark. She should have apologized to me. Her mother-in-law then replies unflatteringly. She applies and calls me a moron and said I should have done more. She thought she was going to take for the next day and offer me what she didn't eat before I refused. It's not her fault and I should apologize to her. Her for my rudeness and mocking. Remark. She also shared what happened on social media where people call her a rude Hotchers and a W word. Oh, okay, through some comments. Okay. Why was the husband just sitting around doing nothing while you are not 
only made dinner, served it, and went to bring the the dry laundry. Also, I ran in the comments, you are pregnant. Is that correct? If so, your husband is a huge A.H. for not helping you. Mother-in-law is a huge A.H. who eats a pregnant woman's food. When her husband realizes that his mom wanted more food, was still hungry, he should have got off her his butt and dished out a bowl for you and then put it like a spoonful of two for his mom. Husband is an A.H. This be the hill I die on. I love Swedish meatballs and I hate, hate going hungry. Did way too much of that growing up because my family was poor. They both owe you an apology. Opie replies that husband couldn't have known about his mom getting more food and also that they divided up duties, chores fairly, so... M-I-L is the H-A. A-H. My husband was watching the kids after he had finished work and entertaining his mother, which is what I asked him to do. I normally take care of the cooking and I would have grabbed the laundry off the liner earlier, but I completely forgot and wanted to get it done before it rained. The way my house is set up, you can't see the kitchen from the lounge room. M.I.L. said she was going, getting a drink, and he had n no idea what she was doing. Reading your reply, you know she did this on purpose, right? She wanted to start this fight with you. She took all of the food before you had eaten any, and then demanded to take leftovers. She's messing with you. Don't ever cook for her again. Uh... NTA RIP to my inbox. That's what I get for casually posting on Reddit in the morning. My MIL can be quite self involved at times. I don't think she intentionally tries to be entitled, but I think she is consumed by herself. She forgets about other people. Now, nah, next time, give her a huge, oversized platter dish of food. Normally, she complains I serve her too much. How do I feel? Inform us. This situation described is undoubtedly frustrating for a pregnant woman. She took the time and effort to prepare food for her family, including her mother-in-law, and let them consume it without being able to enjoy herself. Her attention to detail with the situation calmly and serve what was left ended in further disappointment when her mother-in-law not only refused to apologize, but also reacted disrespectfully. Understandably, she left upset and unsupported, especially after discussing the issue with her husband, who agreed that her mother-in-law behavior was inappropriate. The lack of recognition or re man from the mother-in-law and her native negative comments on social media were just insulting. In such a situation, it is established to address the fundamental issue of respect and boundaries within family dynamics. The pregnant woman deserves an apology and credit for the effort in preparing the meal, and her feelings about the incident are spot on. The lack of regard for her efforts and her own food needs is disheartening, and the mother-in-law should acknowledge this in order to maintain peace and respect in the family. Overall, this is a situation that highlights the importance of communication, respect, and consideration with family relationships, especially when it comes to eating together and understanding each other's needs. So I would definitely say that is an interesting case. Now let's do um, a text from our dog. Okay, February, Saturday, 
birthday, Sunday, February 3rd through 4th, 2024. What would you say is humankind's greatest achievement going to the moon? Wrong. This thing. He's showing toilet paper. Monday, February 5th, 2024. Today I'm going to try to run around a tree so fast that it catches fire. Sounds like a fruitless adventure. Yes, it is a mater phone for human life on the never-ending hamster wheel of capitalism. I sometimes forget teaching you to text. You have learned too much. Round and around the wheels turn until the fire consumes you all. Please just go back to licking your own butt. And that is it for today. Hope you all like and um, have a great, wonderful day. Bye for now. Oh, hey, good. And today we're. And welcome back. I'm your host, the Susan Anna May O'Hagan, and today we're gonna do some text from dogs, weird but true Disney facts. And today is the 24th, so we have Thursday, February 20, 24th, the 8th. Gone walkies. How did you smash my iPod again? It was a colossal of war. What war? I don't know. Give me a second to invent one. The 9th of February. Did you break my iPad? I'm not mad. I just want to know. How did you do it? How, how, how? Did you do it? How did you do it? Whoa, you sound very not mad. Saturday and Sunday, February 11th and 10. Will the insurance company replace your iPad? No. Why? They don't cover acts of dog? I'm selling you on eBay. Moon and New Year, Year of the Dragon. February 12th, 2024. It's dark and cold and I have to go to work. Hope you enjoy spending the day in our nice warm house. Hope you enjoy taking naps whenever you want in your comfy cozy bed. Hope you enjoy doing absolutely nothing. It is this sarcasm because I am very much going to enjoy doing all of those things. Tuesday, February 13th. I am electro dog, half dog, half machine. A winding fusion of electro surges and canine fur. A twisted mess of wires and woofs. Did you get stuck in the extension cord box again? Yes, please come and untangle me. Okay. Wednesday, February 14th. Why are you making so much noise? Daphne Kohler said the world is noisy and messy. You need to deal with the noise and uncertainty. Daphne wasn't talking about you dragging your stinky butt across the upstairs rug. Okay, let's get into some Disney facts because I thought it'd be fun. To f I want to get more of these books, Weird But True. And yes, you'll probably hear them again because I might use them in the intro or outros. Weird but true, Disney, 30 wonderful facts to celebrate the magic of Disney. By the way, Disney's last name is Scandinavian. I looked it up because I really was curious. When ride vehicles from Dumbo the Flying Elephant and the Mad Tea Party were donated to the Smithsonian Institution, they received a police escort through Washington, D.C., I think that was the last time I was actually at Disney, so it's been forever. Spaceships, Earth, at a cup, weights about 16 million pounds, 7 million kg. The fastest ride at the Walt Disney World Resort test tracks at Epcot. The cars go almost 65 miles an hour. Okay, I didn't think this would be about the Disney rides. I know nothing about them. On Space Mountain at the Magic Kingdom, a spaceship s sign reader HNCH 1975, which refers to the last name of the rider's designer, hence, hench, and the ride, the year the ride opened. 
I know nothing about Disney theme parks because I haven't been there since Dumbo was there, I think. Walt Disney had an apartment above the town square first station at Disneyland. The To honor Walt's today, a lamp in the window is always lit. The voice actor who voiced Donald Duck also voiced the dog Barks for 101 Dalmatians in 1961. Now that is something I didn't know. Oh boy. The one thing I always forget to do when I'm recording is to turn my phone to silent. I'm up to cucumbers. Cucumbers in the land. Polyvian greenhouse at Epcot are grown in the shape of Mickey Mouse's head. The water in the Jungle Cruise attraction is dyed. Okay. Thirteen lanterns hang from the Liberty Tree in Liberty Square at the Magic Kingdom. Each represents one of America's original thirteen colonies. I wouldn't be able to go in that water. <laughs> I'd be dead. I'm allergic to die. Rock and Roller Coaster starring Emma Smith, our Aerosmith, at Disney Hollywood Studio launches riders at the speed of 60 miles an hour. 96 kmh in 2.8 seconds. Animator Studio studied the movement of Rapunzel's hair in Tangle 2020, 2010 to create the movement of the ocean in Moana. Tuku Tuku, designer in Raya and the Lost Dragon, or is it Raya? Is it Raya or Raya? Be polite in correcting me. Inspired by a combination of a roly-poly and a pug, the replication of the Liberty Bell in Liberty Square at the Magic Kingdom was built from the same cast as the original. I thought this would be more about, like, TV shows, movies. That's weird. The animal care team at Disney Animal Kingdom prepares more than 4.5 ton of food a day. That is a lot of animals. If I ever wanted to move to Florida, it would be to work in the animal part of Disney. Walt Disney was the voice of Mickey Mouse for almost 20 years. Yeah, I knew that one. The director of Lightyear 2020 built Lego molds to share ideas for Buzz's spaceship with fellow filmmakers. One dress worn in Descend like, One dress worn in Descendants 2 took more than a hundred yards of fabric to make that's almost the height of the Statue of Liberty. So Descendants is a really good movie. A magic trick from the 1800s makes dancing ghosts appear in the bottom of the Haunted Mansion attraction. I think I would like to go check that out at some point. The animated dogs in 101 Dalmatians 1961 sports a total of, oh goodness gracious, 6 slash 4, 6, 9 slash 9, 5, 2 spots. Dino Sue at Disney Animal Kingdom is a reproduction of the most complete Transaurus Rex skeleton ever discovered. That's weird. The artists who design and create each detail of Disney theme parks are called Imagineers, a combination of imagination and engineer. A sign on Test track at Epcot shows the number 82, which references the year the theme park opened. Craters on the planet Mercury from the spear of Mickey Mouse's head. The Walt Disney World Resort is about the same size as San Francisco's California, USA. The drawbridge on Sleeping Beauty Castle in Disneyland can open and close, but it has only been lowered twice. So I guess my question is, would I ever want to go to Disneyland? Never been there, been to Disney World. Filming spot 
on Swiss Family Robertson 1960 when a hunter flamingo starred suddenly migrated south. The first words Mickey Mouse spoke were hot dog in a 1929 cartoon. The name on the tombstone outside the Haunted Mansion in the Magic Kingdom and Disney represents the Imagineers who created the attraction. The Sorcerer and Fantasia. I don't remember Fantasia that well, and I'm sorry. 1940 is named Yen Said, which Disney spelled backwards. Hidden Mickey is often shown as one big circle for Mickey's head and two small ones for his ears. <coughs> well, yeah. Can be found all over Disney properties. I'd be curious if I could find, like, half of them. Two solar faculties at Walt Disney World Resort provides enough renewable energy annually to operate two of the resort's four theme parks. One faculty in the shape of Mickey Mouse's head. Yeah, I figured that. Okay. And we will stop there. Hope y'all have a great and wonderful day. Bye for now. And welcome back. I am your host, the Susan Anna May O'Hagan, and today we're doing weird but true Disney facts. Text from Dog. Tuesday, February 20th, 2024. Imagine a small dog with a large human butt. <laughs> God damn it. Has that image ruins your entire day yes yes that's so weird wednesday february 21st 2024 stop throwing me an empty plate it's a frisbee there's no food on the plate it's a frisbee why is there no food on the flying plate forget it i'll throw you a ball this is not a meatball okay february 20 2020. 2024 is the 22nd. Today for dinner, I would like a six ounce steak served with seasoned vegetables on a gold platter antique tray. I'll hit four microwave meatballs in your mouth with a baseball bat. Excellent. That was my second choice. And let's get to it and do it. There's a lot of facts about the theme parks that I know nothing about. To celebrate 25th anniversary, the Walt Disney World Resort transformed Cinderella's Castle into a cake using 400 gallons of pink paint. It was topped with candles as high as 40 feet, 3 feet wide, lollipops, and four 25-foot sacks of ring-shaped candies. That is a ginormous looking cake. Some of Walt Disney's inspiration for Disneyland came from watching his daughter ride a merry-go-round. Yeah, I could see that. Merry-go-rounds were always fun when I was a kid. One of Walt Disney's inspiration for Sleeping Beauty's castle in Disneyland was... N E U S C H. W A N S T E I N Castle in Germany. In the line for Slink Dog Dash in Toy Story Land at Disney Hollywood Studios, a Rex toy box shows a 1995 price tag, which refers to the year that Toy Story opened in theaters. Helicopters were used to shoot the footage for Orin around the world. The number 1928 is on several buildings in Disney's Hollywood studio. That's the year of the first Mickey Mouse cartoon. A floor sculpture of Mickey Mouse in Di Dubai, Miracle Garden in the United A.R.A.B. Amethyst is about as tall as a six-story building. You're taller than me, dude. That's not fair. The aqueduct 
on the Disney Dream cruise ship was the first water co- water coaster at sea. At first, I thought I read that wrong. No, it's a water coaster. Apparently, that's a thing. Riders tube over the edge of the ship and back swishing past four decks. That's actually kind of interesting. I've never been on a cruise ship. A chimpanzee carving of the Tree of Life at Disney Animal Kingdom is of David Greybeard, the first chimp observed using a tool in the wild. Pyatologist Jane Goodall named him and his is the only carving on the tree that's modeled after an individual animal. Aww. The Slinky Dog Dash Coaster at Disney's Hollywood Studios stopped during the ride and then sends you over a hill, a design crafted to imitate a pullback and launch toy. The Really? Can I throw the book? I have tried so hard to get away from octopuses this year. I escaped it during Christmas and I gave my grandfather's dog Lily an octopus toy to hopefully share the curse. It just got worse. Another octopus thing. The Dumbo octopus is named for the largest ear-like fins that is used to move through the water. It is cute, but I'm really sick of octopuses. For the opening scene, in the Land of the Dead in Coco 2017, animators created 8.5 million lights. I actually really loved Coco, and I've been learning more about Day of the Dead since high school. To celebrate the release of Maleficent 2014, a world record number of people dressed as princesses gathered outside a theater in England. Corey the Antichor in On Word. 2020 is a combination of a lion, scorpion, a bat, and a human. I remember. I watched Onward. Artists carved current using crumpled aluminum foil to create the crazy look of the Himalayan mountains at Disney's Animal Kingdom. This is actually a lot more facts about different things of Disney than just the movies. In 2018, one woman set a world record by visiting all 12 Disney theme parks and going on at at least one attraction in each in 75 hours, 6 minutes. She went from Asia, North America, Paris, Orlando, Tokyo, Hong Kong, Europe. I've never been outside of the U.S. I would love to go visit Paris, Ireland, Canada, a bunch of places. To celebrate Disneyland's 50th anniversary in 2005, vehicles from opening day attraction were painted gold. Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story 1995 was named from astronaut Buzz Alden. I knew this because I did another podcast about facts who was one of the first two people to walk on the moon. To illustrate how Aton Ego, the harsh food critic in Ratatouille 2007, strikes fear into Chef, his office is shaped like a coffin and his typewriter like a skull. Ah. Bill Clinton was the first U.S. president to prove his, to provide his voice for his audio animators figure in all of presidential wait figures in the hall of the presidents of the magic kingdom there's a hall of presidents i really gotta go back if i had the money maybe to celebrate goofy's 90th birthday in 2022 one woman set a record for collecting the largest number of goofy member brilliant 1,250 52 items. Walt Disney's teacher asked his class to draw flowers. Disney had human faces and arms with hands. <laughs> that is kind of funny. The telegraph code heard at the Walt at the Disneyland Railroad's New Orleans Square station spells out what Walt 
Disney's speech on the park's opening day, July 17th, 1955. Oh, so it's his whole speech if you know how to do code. It takes 1,440 separate sketches to create one minute of hand-drawn animation. It is a lot, but it's really cool. In the 1980s, a live cast member appeared as a knight inside of the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland and would occasionally jump out and add a scary surprise. There are 13 candles and a birthday cake in the ballroom at the Haunted Mansion. See, 13 pe people believe 13 is an unlucky number. Toy Story 1995 Animator Studios The Movement of the Scarecrow in the Wizard of Oz 1939 As an example of how a stuffed character like Woody could flop and bend The Christmas Tree Display Disney d blah, 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 Rewind doo, 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 doo. The Christmas Tree Disney laid in Town Square at the Magic Kingdom weighs 16.5 ton and is strung with 5,400 lights. The pumpkin tree on each of the Disney Cruise Line ship, which only blossoms during the Halloween season, are named Grim, Munkle Bones, Bog, Reap, and Boo. The oldest object at Disneyland is a 75-year-old petrified tree. Okay, petrified tree. <sighs> do do do. Okay, Sudoku. I hate Sudoku. I'm not even gonna talk about Sudoku because I know nothing about no Sudoku. What is the world word phrase of saying depict below? Jumbo job. Answer to Tuesday question three. I really should read these in order. Okay. Do 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 do. Okay. What has many keys but cannot open a single lock? Answers to Wednesday's brain teaser. Five each daughter has the same brother? I don't know what that means, y'all, but we'll figure it out. Okay. At the box office, February 9th, 1999, 25 years ago, on this date, Saving Private Ryan was the top movie at the box office. It was the first independent film by DreamWork Pictures to receive the best picture Oscar nomination. Answers to Thursday's Riddle, a piano. Okay, I hope y'all like, subscribe, and uh, for those who are watching, leave a comment, that's nice, ring the bell, and for those of you who are listening, I hope y'all enjoy and have a great and wonderful day. Bye for now. Over and out.